Hello everyone. We defined accounting as a system for information and measurement that identifies, records, and communicate business transaction. In this session, we will focus on that communication part. How do we communicate accounting information? We communicate accounting information via financial statements. Specifically, in this session, we will be discussing the income statement, the statement of retained earnings, and the balance sheet. You need to know how to prepare each of these financial statements, the format, the purpose of the financial statement. Now, later on, we will dive a little bit more into each one of these financial statements. At the end of the session, we will work a multiple choice question to consolidate our knowledge. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here. Let us start by looking at the figures that we will be using to prepare the financial statements. We're gonna be looking at the ending balances that you see on this summary of transaction. Cash, 15,100. Account receivable, zero. Supply, 7,300. Equipment, 26,000, those are assets. Under liabilities, we have only one liability accounts payable. And under equity, we have common stock of 40,000, dividend of 500, revenues of 6,500, and expenses of 1,700. And if you're not sure how did, how did we come up with those balances, please take a look at the prior recording. We went through all these 11 transactions to come up with the ending figures. The next thing I'm going to do is define each financial statement separately. Then we would look at the financial statements and how we come up with the figures. We're going to prepare three financial statements. The statement of cash flows will be covered in a separate chapter. First is the income statement. What is the income statement? Simply put, the income statement is revenues minus expenses. So this document details a company's revenues and expenses to compute net income or net loss for a period of time. So if you have more revenues than expenses, you have a net income. If you have revenues less than expenses, you are going to have a net loss. And you need to prepare this financial statement first, and you're going to see why. Then we will prepare statement of retained earnings. Well, what's the statement of retained earnings? Remember, in the first step, we computed revenues minus expenses, and let's assume we have net income. Then what we do, we deduct from net income, we deduct from net income dividend, and whatever is left from net income after we deduct the dividend is called retained earnings. So this report outlined the changes in retained earnings reflecting adjustments from net income and any dividend distributed given a period of time, the same period. And this is the second financial statement. And we would look at an example. The third financial statement is the balance sheet. The balance sheet is a snapshot of the company's financial position for a specific point in time. It means for this particular day, not a period of time, what would our financial statements would look like? Balance sheet. It's going to list our assets, our liabilities, things that we did not put in the income statement or the statement of retained earning, and list of equity. Remember what I told you when we covered equity? I said equity eventually, two, there are two parts of equity, retained earnings and we already computed retained earnings so whatever we computed in step two will go on the balance sheet and the other part of equity is common stock or what we called the technical word is contributed capital 
it's what the investors invested in the company so those are the three financial statements and that's why we prepare them in order because we need net income for the statement of retained earnings and we need retained earnings to fill in in the balance sheet Let's take a look at the first financial statement, which is the income statement. The income statement will have three headings, the name of the company, the name of the statement, and four year ended, which is a period of time, December 31st, 20X5. Those are the three headings, one, two, three. And the three headings are important, especially the date. Then we would list our revenues. How did we come up with these figures, the 6,300 and the 200? Well, easy. If we go back to summary of transaction, we notice that we have in revenues total of 6,500, of which, if we if we looked closer, 6,300 was consulting revenue and 200 was rental revenue. This is from the prior transaction. Now, we have the word revenues, and if we have more than one revenue, which we do, we indent a little. Not we, even if we have one revenue, we indent a little. We list our revenues. We single underline and we have the total, total revenues. Then what goes on the income statement? I said revenues minus expenses. Well, same thing with expenses. We have the word expenses. We indent and we list all our expenses. And we happen to have only two expenses. 1,200 and 500, which is 1,700 in total. Notice single underline, it means we are performing a computation. 1,700, then we take 6,500 minus 1,700, sing, single underline, gives us net income. We have more revenues than expenses of 4,800. The last number is double underline to indicate we are done with this financial statement. 4,800 is our net income. And this is the first financial statement. What this tells us, the company was profitable. The company generated 6,500 in revenues, incurred expenses of 1,700, a profit of 4,800. That's done. The second financial statement is the statement of retained earnings. We have the same headings, the name of the company, obviously the statement of retained earnings, not the, state, not the income statement. And the third is the date, and the date is the same as the income statement. Same format, four year ended. It's for a period of time, period of time. And you're going to see the, you will see the balance sheet. The date is different. Starting with the retained earnings on December 1st, when the company started, when the company started, they had no retained earnings. This is a new company. They have a zero retained earning. The company made net income of 4,800, and this is coming from the income statement, 4,800. Beginning retained earnings plus net income equal to 4,800. Then Adam took out $500 in personal withdrawal minus the $500 less, less 500 will give us retained earning by the end of the month of 4,300. Once again, we double underline to indicate this is the last figure on the financial statements. So this is the second financial statement, which is the statement of retained earnings, 4,300. Now, the last statement, and by the way, I'm going to do something real quick. I want to show you something. Every number we use, it gets used on one financial statement. So revenues and expenses were used on the income statement. Revenues and expenses were transferred from the income statement to retained earnings through net income. Then on the retained earnings, we use dividend. So revenues, expenses, and dividend, those three accounts are gone. What's left are assets, liabilities, and common stock. And those are the accounts that are listed on the balance sheet along retained earnings. This is the balance sheet. Farhat Lectures balance sheet as of December 31st. This is point in time. We could also have it December 31st, X5. One date, one point in time. We list our assets, cash 15,000. Where's account receivable? Account receivable is zero. We could have added account receivable, have zero, and we don't have to. Supply 7,300, equipment 26. We add up the assets equal to 48,400. Liabilities, accounts payable, 4,100. That's the only liabilities we have, 4,100. Under equity, we have common stock of 40,000. 
and from the statement of retained earnings we have 4300 remember this is from the prior financial statement statement of retained earnings so common stock plus retained earnings remember what I told you those are the two main component of equity remember retained earnings is composed of revenues minus expenses minus dividend so revenues expenses and dividend those three accounts are embedded into this 4300 and the 40,000 is what Adam contributed to the company total equity 44,300 liabilities plus equity equal to total asset of 48,400 assets equal to liabilities plus equity and this is the balance sheet this is the balance sheet assets equal to liabilities plus assets equal to liabilities plus equity this question from farhatlectures.com which of the following financial statements refer to a specific date which is point in time is it the income statement is it statement of retained earnings is it the balance sheet or none of the above starting with a income statement income statement shows you the profitability for a company do you want to see the profitability for a day or do you want to see the profitability of a company for a period of time I would say if I want to look at the company I want to see if this company is a profitable for a period of time same thing with the changes in retained earnings if I want to see what happened to the company's retained earnings not for a day I want to see it for a period of time as well therefore income statement and retained earnings are for a period of time so let's see if the balance sheet the balance sheet is a snapshot the balance sheet shows you the following assets equal to liabilities plus equity or owners equity for a point in time it's a snapshot it's for one day so the balance sheet is for a specific date and you need to know this this is important for the presentation of the balance sheet therefore the answer is D as in David what should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional MCQs that's going to help you whether you are an accounting student or studying for some professional certification if you're a student invest in yourself good luck study hard accounting is rewarding and stay safe